Come along with us and learn how to make a high-end stove cover with multiple purposes. Stick around till the end and we will share the secret of what makes our stove covers stand out. First we run our boards through the planer to get two parallel faces. Then it's off to the joiner to cut one edge square to those faces. Then we check for square. Now that it's square and surfaced on three sides, we take it over to the table saw to rip off that last side. This stove cover is 30 inches by 24 inches, but we will cut it to final length later. We lay out our boards and decide how we want the grain pattern to go. on three as usual. Make sure to cover the entire edge with glue. When clamping up it's a good idea to also clamp up the edges. That way the board doesn't bow. If it did bow we would end up having to lose material and it wouldn't be the ideal thickness which is one inch. Now to get all that glue off and get it back to flat, we run it through the drum sander. You may have seen stove covers made with pine or pallet wood or even painted and they've got stickers on them. But at First Fruits Design Company, we aim to create heirloom quality as well as highly functional stove covers. We use premium domestic and exotic hardwoods full of natural beauty that will hold up to a lifetime of use. Our lumber is hand-picked and never treated with any harsh chemicals. We always finish our products with food grade oil and wax. I mean, after all, these products are going in your kitchen and they're gonna be used for preparing and serving food. When it comes to appearance, instead of using stickers, we perform custom engravings to suit our clients' needs. These are heirloom quality stove covers. They're gonna outlast the life of your stove and they can be used on one side as a cutting board and the other side as a decorative addition to counter space or a serving tray. The secret to making our stove covers stand out is high quality materials and craftsmanship and we carve a juice groove as a standard feature in all of our boards. enjoyed this video and we also hope that we inspired you to go and build one of these yourself. Go have some fun and make something beautiful. Make sure to check out this next video right over here.